Hi everybody, it's me. I am back. I am dropping you guys another video on my path journey to healthy eating and trying to incorporate better eating habits into my life. So the last time we talked, I just kind of explained, you know, why I was starting my journey and kind of where I was coming from. But okay. Since that day, and I told you guys I was making a big, huge pan of oxtails, which I've been eating on for the last two days. I, I know. It's kind of like my last hoorah. They're so good. Smothered oxtails with rice and gravy. Just everything bad that you should never eat. I've been eating it. I've had fried foods. I've had candy. I've had cookies. I've just been like... Then yesterday I felt bad, so when I first woke up in the morning, I'm eating huge bowls of salad, and carrots, and drinking more water than I usually drink, you know, because I feel like I have to, like, start flushing my body out. Just a whole lot of confusion. I don't know what it is with me psychologically, and I'm sure it happens to a lot of people. Like, when I decide to modify my eating, and I never call it diet because I think the word diet sabotages your thinking off, off the top. But I don't know if my body just kicked into like, oh no, no more fat, no more candy, no more yummy stuff. Let's just get as much of this as possible. She made yummy oxtails and there's candy and there's salsa little pepper sharp cookies on the counter in the, you know, in the pantry. So let's just eat, eat, eat. And then just to make matters worse, you know, I just started my womanly monthly thing so I was real moody and kind of crybabyish and you know I always crave salt and fat and sugar during that time which I'm really going to work on trying to change that but um last night I was preparing dinner and I made like a huge thing of spaghetti with tons of vegetables and yummy pasta wheat pasta I do eat good wheat pasta but then you know I ruined the whole meal because I had to have Texas toast with garlic butter oh so good though I shouldn't have ate it it was really good I'm I'm not really bad about eating a lot of bread but it's something about crispy garlic toast that just pushes me over the edge I'm sure all the rest of you food acts in the world understand but I was looking in my pantry and I decided maybe I need to add a few more things to kind of help me with this, you know, to kind of help me transition into eating a better diet because if it's not here, I won't eat it. Now, my refrigerator is full of things. I have broccoli. I have everything for that I like for salads. I have peppers and onions, garlic, shallots, um, oranges, grapefruit lemons like I, I keep a pretty decent vegetable and fruit collection in my refrigerator and I keep a big bowl of fresh fruit on my counter but you know there's also chips and cookies and granola bars and fruit roll-ups and guzzlers and all kind of special little candied pecans and all kind of stuff in my cabinet so today I went to one of my favorite grocery stores, which is great. Um, I went to Whole Foods, if you've ever heard of it. Actually, Whole Foods was started right here in Houston, so they have a huge one in Sugar Land. And I just got a few things to kind of help me make this transition. I'm just, you know, I've been getting a lot of great advice, and like my mom, who is my guru of food. I can call her and talk to her anytime and get recipes or whatever. You know, I'm just every time you modify your eating, you have to do what's comfortable for you and what's good for your body. So, you know, along with really good advice, you, I I believe and I pray. I know I can make this. So, um, one of the items I ended up purchasing today, um, one of the health food gurus in Whole Foods, who I spoke to, said that I should get was this Himalayan I don't know if you can see that sea salt and it's the purest salt on earth it is completely unrefined 
It's 100% Himalayan salt, no additives. And as you can see, I don't know if you can read that, but it's chemical free. So if, other than that, I do not use a lot of salt. I do use a little bit of seasoning salt when I do prepare my meals. But, you know, if I have to use salt, then this is the best salt. This was about $10 and this is 6 ounces. So it's not huge, but you wouldn't need a lot of it. And if you absolutely have to have it while you're transitioning, then go with the best. Another thing that I got because, like if most of you know me, I am a cracker and chip fanatic. Um, my favorite cracker in the whole world, well, I have three. One of them are like the saltine crackers, the squares, the saltine that come in the blue and white box. Love those. Um, love wheat thins. Wheat thins are so good. But my number one favorite cracker snack are Ritz crackers because they're so buttery and crunchy and they like melt in your mouth. I could eat a whole box of them. I, I could literally not eat anything else but Ritz crackers and cheese all day. I could eat that for days and be totally fine. And that's not good. Um, so I'm trying to find alternatives. So I decided to go with this. And these are veggie chips. And these are dried vegetables. Um, the ingredients in here it's sweet potatoes, squash, taro, carrots, green beans and purple sweet potatoes and then they season with sea salt and that's it and so you have a lot of and they're really crunchy because they're dehydrated and I love green beans so just so you guys can see the snap it's crunchy green beans and they have carrot chips don't worry my hands are clean and then zucchini, and you have sweet potato, and then you also have purple sweet potato, and you have caro. So it's a crunchy snack that I can eat instead of eating chips and crackers and all that. That's just in case. This is why I transition, while I transition. In a month, I'm hoping to go on an a uh, completely juice detox once I can afford a juicer but we're gonna get more into that so another thing I purchased is this product it's called green machine and it's by um, the group naked and it's all Joshua boosted juice smoothie no sugar added no sugar added and if you around to the back I don't know how well you guys can read the ingredients but I'll read to you what's actually in this juice it has apple juice mango puree pineapple juice banana puree kiwi puree and then it has corella which is an herb broccoli spinach barley grass wheat grass parsley, ginger root, blue green algae, and odorless garlic. Now you would think, okay, it's, I don't know how well you can see the color, but